What is the mass percent of potassium and iodine in potassium iodide? Good question. That's what I'm going to do. First, we're going to find the total mass, and then we're going to find those percentages. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write the elements I see in the compound. So we have potassium and we have iodine. Next is then to identify the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. If you don't see any subscripts, assume that there is a 1 there. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply by the mass of each element. That's where the periodic table comes in. So let's take a look. So here's the mass of potassium, 39.1. Mass of iodine is 126.9. So let's write them on down. So we got one, uh, 39, 39.10, and then we have 126.90. Then we're going to find the total mass of the elements. So we multiply this row on across to find that. So this is going to be 39, 39.10. And then iodine is going to be 126.90. And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, we just simply add up this column together. Easy peasy, right? So this is 166. And there it is, right? The total mass of the compound, that's the first step to finding the mass percent, so the percent composition. Now I'm going to add a column to the table. Watch how quick this is. Bam. So to now find the mass percent, it's very simple. Take the total mass of the particular element, 39.10, and then divide it by the total mass of the entire compound, 166. Don't worry about the units because the units will cancel. And this is a simple percent formula, part over whole times 100. And when we do that, we get a value of approximately 23, 23.55 percent. So that's the percent of potassium and potassium iodide. Next is the same step process basically for iodine. So we're going to take the 126.90, divide it then by the 166 times by 100, and the percentage here is going to work out to be 76.45 or so. And then just to check yourself, you can simply add these two percentages together and it should be 100%. And that's what you would have gotten on the problem. Thanks so very much for tuning in. We've got thousands of other videos out there, not only in chemistry, but physics and mathematics too. And we've got a whole bunch of other subjects coming out, statistics, biology. So we continually keep updating the channel. So please check back. We'd love to help you out with more. All right. That's our mission. We'll see you soon.